Ladies and germs, it finally happened. While I was on my trip to uh, New York, we're sitting in the hotel room, I'm just futzing around on my phone, I checked my email, and I got the email I've been waiting for, not for two years, but for like 15 years. I've talked about this in other videos. Uh, I got my email, I can order my Tesla, finally. And I literally, uh, <laughs> woo, I, I literally got on my phone and I saw it and I went, <gasps> And my wife's sitting next to me. She's like, what? And I'm like, I show it to her. And she's like, ah, because she knows how much I've been waiting for it. And of course, this happened while I was on vacation. And I didn't bring my computer with me because I was trying to like vacate. <laughs> it's not the right word for vacation. But no, I was on vacation. I didn't bring my computer. I was trying to just be in vacation mode. And uh, so now I realize I could have gone ahead and ordered it on my phone. Um but, you know, I wanted to make sure I did it right, so I wanted to wait till I got home and ordered on my computer. So, dude, I'm super excited. Like, this this was like, um, like I said, I was on vacation, I get this thing, and I'm like, this is what I've been waiting for forever, and I'm so, like, jacked and everything. And there's been all this lead-up to it. I've talked about it here and there. Um, you know, Tesla... I think I talked about it in my video where I test drove the Model 3 with Ben Sullins. Um, they've been sort of trying to time where they hit the 200,000 car mark because there's this tax incentive right now at $7,500 um, for anybody that buys an electric vehicle. But the way it's structured, and this, is, this, go, this has been going on for a while now, and it could change. I guess, you know, lawmakers could change it. I don't see this particular administration uh, going for it. But anyway, um, the, the, theory, the thing is when a car company sells its 200,000th EV, electric vehicle, this $7,500 uh, tax credit uh, starts to go away. So basically what happens is whatever quarter they are in, um, I'm kind of backing up here, so I'm just trying to try to bang through this quickly. Um, whatever quarter they are in, when they sell their 200,000th car, they get to finish that quarter and then have another quarter where they can use this um, tax incentive. So what Tesla was trying to do was wait until they hit the beginning of the third quarter to sell. So they were like stockpiling cars. They were like hoarding cars. They or they were selling cars in you know Canada and overseas instead of selling them here in the United States because obviously it doesn't apply there. But anyway, so they were they were trying to time it so that they hit their two hundred thousandth car right at the beginning of Q3, which is where we are right now in July, so that everybody who orders in Q3 and Q4 could get their uh, <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right. That was that was my wife. She popped in. Um, now that now that she's not at work, that's gonna happen sometimes. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it in this video because that's real. I keep it real. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're, they're, the thing was they were trying to time it so that the 200,000th car gets sold at the beginning of Q3 so that people can take advantage of the tax incentive in Q3 and Q4, which means uh, at the beginning of next year, 2019, the tax incentive goes down to 35, no, 30, 3250. Anyway, it goes down by half uh, for the next two quarters. And then the next two quarters after that, it goes down by half again. So it's like 1,075, something like that. Um, and then it um, eventually fades away. Anyway, there's been all this buildup to it, and I had this feeling that it was going to be happening soon, that it was going to be happening really soon. And so when I got the email, I'm like, yes! And my buddy um, Tim at um, The Everyday Astronaut, we, we've been in touch quite a bit lately, and he was on, he was a reservation holder, he got his too. So we're both just like, dude, awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. So he orders his, I order mine. Um, a little bit of background, you got to put $2,500 down to sort of hold the order. So it's like a little small down payment. This all gets applied to it later. The reservation, the um, $1,000 I put down on the reservation way back when, all this gets applied later, so whatever. But um, anyway, that's all great, and I'm super excited, and I made my, I, I ordered it. I'm gonna share with the Patreon people my, um, I did a little screenshot of it when I ordered it so you can kind of see how it all works. But um, that's just for the Patreon people. I don't need to share that with everybody, but um, here's the frustrating part. <laughs> of course, it can't just be yay. It's got to be something else. And um, when you order it, first of all, I found out that 
it wasn't just specifically me that got it because I was like next in line or something. They opened it up to everybody. This is what I found out. They opened up the ordering to everyone. So everybody that's a reservation holder now has uh, the ability to order their cars. In fact, I would not be surprised if some of you were in this group. Um, and the frustrating thing is that unless you get the performance model, which is the very expensive one, which is almost as much as a Model S, you might as well get a Model S for that one, um, you have to wait three to five months to get your car. And this is where I get a little bit pissed off. Um, the ones, that was not the word I was going for, but I went with it. Uh, now I get annoyed by this because, again, I've been waiting two years with this reservation. My original window was February to April, and that got pushed to May to July. And then I finally get my order. And my expectation, as, um, as my friend um, over at um, <clears throat> Mind Hacking Happiness says, your negative emotions come from when your expectation does not line up with reality. My expectation was that just like everybody else that I know who has already gotten their Model 3, when I got my ability to order it, I would be getting my car within two to four weeks. So I'm thinking like a month after I order my car, I'm going to be getting my car. And that's not the case. Now I order my car and I put that $2,500 down and I have to sit here and wait probably till the end of the year. I mean, I, 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 I'm a Tesla fan as we all know, but they also, I am realistic about the fact that they do not make their, <laughs> they don't make their timelines. I am not under any illusions that it's going to be at the three instead of the five. It's probably going to be the five, which puts it at November, which means basically the end of the year. It's going to be the end of the year before I finally get this car. Um, and that sucks. Now I know, <sighs> I know with Tesla, you kind of have to just, you, yeah, yeah, you have to keep the long game in mind. You have to, you have to have, you have to take the long view with it. Um, because wherever they are right now, they're improving. And that's like the nature of their corporate philosophy. It's like always improving. So, um, I know that when I get this car, none of this will matter. I will be, I'll be thrilled that I have the car. And I'm under no illusions that there's not going to be some issues with the car. Of course there's going to be. Of course there's going to be things in the car that I'm not 100% happy with. I'm sure that there's going to be some flaws that are going to need to be taken in and get fixed. That's been happening with a lot of people. Um, I'm clear-headed about all that. Um, and, and anybody who has watched this channel long enough, watching me deal with the Windows situation, knows that I... I'm not the most patient person in the world. I tend to get really frustrated with things when they don't happen the way I expect them to. And that's something I guess I got to work on, but, um, there's nothing I can do except just be patient about it. I guess the, the, the one thing I could do, <laughs> I actually consider doing this. There are model threes used model threes for sale out there. Um, that are obviously brand new still cause it's a brand new car. Um, and I actually considered doing that. I was, I found one, that was on sale for like $51,000, which is actually uh, less than what I would wind up paying for a new one. But I know that's still a lot of money, but, uh, but no, there was one for sale in Las Vegas that would have been less expensive than what I would wind up paying for it. And I was like, dude, I could just buy a ticket to Las Vegas, buy this car and then road trip at home. And I thought about doing it. But nah, I've already waited this long. I might as well get a brand new one. And I know that the qual their quality is going up as time goes on. They're improving. Um, and that's what Ben over at Teslanomics told me. He was like, don't do that because if you, if you get the new car, it's going to be a lot better quality than the old cars. Anyway, uh, so it is still exciting. I mean, I, I'm, it's, it's, it's a done deal now. I am definitely going to be getting this car. Um, the bright side is <laughs> having three to five months gives me a chance to work on my credit score a little bit so that maybe I can get a little bit better loan, uh, you know, save up a little money for more of a down payment and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so it's, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, the irony here is the funny thing about this is that, uh, <laughs> um, I guess my wife got so excited seeing that I was ordering this car and everything that she started thinking about getting a new car. Now she's been thinking about it for a while. Her car is about 10 years old. 
My car's 13 years old. And here's the problem. Um, I've mentioned before, there, there's a little bit of summer traveling that we're doing, driving around and stuff. And neither one of us really trust our cars <laughs> to take these road trips. We're, we're going to be renting cars, honestly, to, uh, to go see family and stuff. Because my car, I had to spend... I had to finance repairs on my car last year just to get it to pass inspection. Uh, that's how, that's the condition my car is in. And I think that's expected for a car of that age. Actually for a car of that age, it's, it's doing really well, but there were some repairs that I opted not to do because I am waiting on this car to come in and I don't plan on having this car for that much longer. And I actually don't drive that much, you know, I work from home, so it's, it's not that big a deal. Um, but, no, there, there was something in my, um, I don't remember what it was, but there was some metal bar that they showed me that was cracked. I don't trust it to take a long trip with it anymore because some, there, there were some repairs that were needed that I didn't do. I was just trying to pass inspection. So, um, and my wife's car, her AC isn't working very well and her stereo isn't like connecting with XM or whatever. Like it, it's there, there were issues with her car that doesn't really make it good for a long trip. So we're both sitting here like, <laughs> we're going to have to rent a car to take a trip. And anyway, so she saw me ordering the Tesla. She got all excited. She's been thinking she probably needs a new car for a while. Uh, you know, it was just kind of like in the back of her mind. But something about me ordering this car uh, got her to think more about it. Long story short, uh, she bought a new car yesterday. <laughs> she found a, she, she's a Honda person. She loves Hondas. She found a Honda Civic that she liked online and we went just to check it out and she wound up buying it. Um, and she's a little, she's a little freaked out right now because she hasn't had a, she hasn't had a car payment in a very long time. And so that part of it's kind of mm, making her a little bit nervous, but no, no she's got it. She, it's not a brand new car. It's a 2017, but it's, you know, like new, it's a really nice car. So, <laughs> so, so right now my wife has a brand new car and I'm still driving around in this old Jetta, but now I guess we have a car we can take road trips in. So there's that. But, uh, anyway, so I'm excited. I am in line to get the car. I'm trying to just be patient and not complain about it too much. The, the wait and just use the time that I have to get everything ready and all that. But, uh, uh, no, it's, it's good. It's finally happened. I ordered my Tesla. I'm excited about it. Um, it looks beautiful, the configuration and everything. And, uh, I can't wait to get it. It's going to be fun. Anyway, wanted to fill you guys in on that because you've heard me talk about it quite a bit and you will hear more about it in the future, I'm sure. So, uh, that's enough for now. I'll catch you guys later.